Assalamu alaikum my dear viewers, listeners and students. Those who are watching this video, take this class is one of the important class ever in chemistry because you know that uh, those who are watching like a student of English versions, English medium, even Cadet College, please take this class is one of your essential basic of chemistry. In my previous videos, I explained what about the electrochemical cells, what about electri electricities and chemical reactions and the relations between them. And in this video, I shall focus on the mechanism of electrolysis. And this is basic. I have written some, uh, this is the reactivity series of cations and anions. Uh, most probably you have uh, seen it earlier. And I have drawn a very simple electrochemical cells. Think about what is the definition of electrolysis. I mean, this is electrolysis because I mean, you are conducting the chemical reactions inside the electrochemical cells by providing electricity from outer source. So you have added one battery and that is actually producing or providing the electricity inside and some reactions is going on inside. And these chemical reactions are ongoing by this electricity. So from outer source and electric source actually or electric source or you can say battery that is added. So this is positive part and this is negative part. And from the previous uh, lecture I explained what is electrochemical cells. So you must know this is electrode and this is also electrode as this electrode it can be graphite stick, it can be any metal which is electric conductor added with the positive part of the battery so this is anode this is anode and so this is anode and this part of this uh, electrode is known as cathode very simply so these two are electric conductor or you can say this is submerged electric metal or electric conductor or metal which is acting or functioning as anode and cathode okay now take molten sodium chloride and i shall explain these things in two different ways which is i mean that can be explained as a molten sodium chloride and we can take concentrated solutions of sodium chloride there are some differences like if you say that at first we say we took molten molten sodium chloride why i'm taking sodium chloride because this is very common example and this is given in your book also so once you understand the process then lifelong you will never forget the mechanism of electrolysis for sure so if you take molten sodium chloride or if you say if you take the sodium chloride concentrated solution two different things in case of molded sodium chloride, if this is molded sodium chloride, then it will be divided, it will be like divided into sodium plus and chloride minus. You know this is cation and this is anion. So we can say this is this is cation because the positive ions is cation and the negative ion is anion. Now you think, in molded sodium chloride, there is only sodium chloride. So this sodium chloride is liquid portions of sodium plus and they can actually migrate. When electricity will pass through this thing, what will happen? This sodium plus, this is cation, this cation will go to cathode. You know that cation is always attracted towards cathode as because this electric conductor is connected with the negative part of the battery. So definitely the positive ion will be attracted by the negative part of the electrode. So this sodium plus will go to cathode and accept one electron. And then it will be sodium solid state. So what is going on? And you know this is reduction, re uh, reduction, 
half reaction that is going on in cathode that is going on in cathode but on the other hand to see this anion which is chloride so this chlorine will go to anode as because this chloride is anion so this will be attracted by the positive part of the battery which is connected with this anode so in anode what will going on so in anode oxidation half reaction will take place so oxidation half reaction that is this chloride will be chlorine and then one electron will be released and this is oxidation so that is why this oxidation and reduction is taking place simultaneously and that is why this is redox reaction and that is why through this process electricity is working for the chemical electrolysis means the lysis of the chemical compounds so this was molten sodium chloride which is actually divided through the potash uh, uh, cation and anion and they can actually migrate and when they're migrating through the electricity process the positive ion or cation is attracted towards cathode and they're reduced and the negative ion is attracted towards anode and this is oxidation so now what is going on so as in anode this chloride will add another chloride and chlorine gas will be formed why this is chlorine because this chlorine would be i mean they will try to form a stable a state and that is why chlorine gas will be formed and if we collect from anode the gas is chloride a, that is another experiment so like if, if you use like if chlorine is undergoing with water then HCl and HOCl will be produced so as HCl and HOCl both are acid if we use a weight a blue litmus paper into it into the a test tube that is expected uh, that is actually accepted in the anode and it will turn into red so that will uh, show us is a proof that this is actually acidic so that is why this is chlorine so in case of molten sodium chloride the simple reduction and oxidation reaction that will take place respectively in cathode and anode so we know that cathode is a is a place or is an electrode where reduction will take place and anode is an electrode where oxidation will take place so this is simply a very first concept about electrolysis now you think about sodium chloride concentrated solution you must know that the concentrations the concentrated solutions of sodium chloride is known as brine is known as brine so this is brine so if you take brine and uh, what is the reactions is going on when brine will be taken off and then uh, electrolysis take place think about it when brine will be there so sodium chloride will be dissociated by this process sodium plus and chlorine minus but as this is solutions so water will be there so water will be dissociated H plus and OH minus so now you think think this as an example now we have taken sodium chloride concentrated solutions so you think in these solutions the migratory ions are like sodium plus there are chlorine minus H plus OH minus now you see there are two different types of cations and anions are present inside this electrolytic cell so now what will happen so you got sodium plus you got chloride minus you got H plus and you got OH minus also so now what will take place so who, who will go first and who will go last and in these situations there are three things we need to consider we need to think there are three different things if there is more than one 
cations, one kind of cations or one kind of anions are there, which, which, which one will go first to cathode and anode? Depends on three factors. Number one. Well, now you see this reactivity series. This is, has been actually or in lower order. So, the cations, which is actually situated on the lower order, that ions will go first. I mean, think about sodium and hydrogen plus. The position of sodium is here, okay? And the position of hydrogen is here. Now you think, according to lower order, hydrogen plus are there. So when in one electrochemical cells or electrolytic cells where there is sodium plus and H plus are there, H plus will go first. H plus will receive electron first, then sodium plus primarily. So number one, the, the thing that we need to consider, number one is, we need to think reactivity series. Reactivity series. Number two, we need to think about the concentrations of the ions, of the cations and anions. Number two thing that we need to consider, which is concentration of ions. And number three, what is number three? The number three is the nature of electrode. Even it is also important that what electrode we are using, so we can say that nature of electrode, nature of electrode is another factor when there is more than one ions will be present in the electrolytic cell. Okay, so now you think. In cathode, cation will go first, but there are two cations are there. So, according to the reactivity series, hydrogen will go first. And in other case, like anion, you see that chloride and hydroxyl, you see another side? This is chloride and this is hydroxyl. So, according to lower order, hydroxyl will go first. So, similarly, we are doing the electrolysis of concentrated sodium chloride solutions but this is the first case we are thinking uh, the whole process will be understood just after some time just stick with the videos you think sodium plus and H plus so accordingly to the series of these you can say that H plus will go first according to this so what is the reactions of cathode so cathode reaction, so what will be as H plus will go first, so H plus will accept one electron and will produce H atom, but it is not a stable state. So H will be added with another hydrogen atom and produce H2 gas. So we will we'll have hydrogen gas in cathode. What about, what about anode? What about anode? In this case, hydroxyl will be the first one, hydroxyl. But in hydroxyl, this is a series of reaction. Think simply, this hydroxyl will be OH and one electron will be released. But OH is the not stable form, so OH and another OH will be added to form water and oxygen. So another oxygen will require to produce auto gas. But you see, this is the reactions that will take place in anode normally. But you see what's going on when I say that sodium chloride is concentrated. So when sodium chloride is concentrated, so according to the second option, the concentrations of ions is another factor to consider. You know that sodium chloride molarity is 0.1 molar, if I say this is chloride ion, but in case of water, hydroxyl is, is actually 10 to the power minus 7 molar. So according to these, we also can see that the concentration level of chlorine is 
10 to the power 6 times higher than hydroxyl. So, as it is concentrated sodium chloride, in anode this reaction will not take place. So, chloride will go first and then it will release one electron. So, one chlorine and another chlorine will form chlorine gas. So, according to the concentration factor, we are getting chlorine gas in anode. We are not getting hydroxyl. I mean, we are not getting hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. As because we said this is concentrated sodium hydrox sodium chloride solution. So, the concentration level of chlorine is much higher than hydroxyl. So, chlorine will take this. The third factor is the nature of electrode. If in this cathode we used uh, uh, platinum, if we used platinum then sodium plus won't go first, hydrogen will go first. But if we use, in case of cathode, if we use mercury, Hg, then sodium will go first and sodium and mercury will form a new compound which is name is amalgam. So, I have just said a very short description about the mechanism of electrolysis. This is something that I wanted to explain you primarily. This type of, you see my board, I have written nothing but the primary concept of electrolysis. You must consider this cations and anion series. It is actually uh, organized in lower order, so those who are situated in the lower part, they will go first. So in case of cation, they will be reduced first. In case of anion, the lower order will be oxidized first. So, I have explained shortly about molten sodium chloride and then concentrated sodium chloride solution. In molten sodium chloride, only two ions are there. So simply, there is no other options to go any other ions to get a, a cathode or anode. You know what is the concept of cathode? Those electrodes are connected with the negative part of battery. An anode is those electrodes, those are actually connected with the positive part of the battery. So anode will be attracted by anions. So anions will go to anode. Cation will go to cathode must remember anion anode cation cathode and then what will happen cation will accept electron which is reduction process so in cathode reduction half reaction will take place and in anode oxidation half reaction will take place and what is the the, the what is the result in case of uh, more than one kind of cations and anions depends on three factors number one this one number two concentration number three is the nature of electrode i have said simply from the books which is written only on the books that if you use platinum you'll get hydrogen if you use mercury in this case you will get sodium and mercury attached and they will form amalgam so i hope you understand the basic of mechanism of electrolysis and those who are watching this tutorial please let me know after watching this video did you really understand the process that i'm doing my best level explanations to understand to to uh, easier your study and from any corner of this world you are watching my tutorial please let me know your feedback i shall be so much grateful to you thank you so very much see you on the next video bye